So we're going for another goose hunt today out here on Hirschfelden, and it's actually been a while. If I'm right, it's exactly two months since we've done one. And there's still a couple of things that I want to get as far as geese for the trophy lodge. For one, we still don't yet have a melanistic goose, so I really want to get that. And then we still have a couple of random, like, silver rare geese in the lodge that I'd like to get replaced. So hopefully we can work towards both of those goals today. So for once, we're actually starting with a full flock of geese. So often we just get, like, one flying over. But that one, I think it's the second one. It's just a female, but I want to say that is just a brown hybrid. And then there's that four right there. So I brought the 20 gauge because I thought the quick shots would be useful today. That was reasonably useful, but a lot of them kind of stayed far away from us. We'll take that guy with the 22. And actually, any other males. We'll try to get with it as well, just to hopefully get the most out of the respawns. I think there was that one that got past us. That's actually a male. Be nice if we could hit it. There we go. All right. Not too bad. So we definitely had, I think, yeah, just the brown hybrid. Not a bad way to start. Definitely not going to replace any of the brown hybrids we have mounted because it's still just a silver, but good to see at the beginning. Wait, what's this one then? I didn't realize there were two. Also a female, but a gray. Alright. Pretty decent first flock. Nothing that we're gonna keep, but there were those two, and then that level four was seven to eight, which I think most of the fours are gonna be now, as far as the score estimate, because they're never gonna get above like 8.5, 8.6, but there would be a chance. That is actually not the four, I was gonna say that's about as small as they could get, but. I think this one over here has to be, but at least out of the level three, we got a gold, so really everything's been pretty close to as good as it could be. Eight exactly on that guy. Not bad then. Still would have needed another 0.5 to make diamond, but can't complain when that's just a four. And then, I gotta be honest, that level one actually looked a little bit like lighter colored as well, so I don't know if there's maybe something else yet. It definitely seems common from here, so... I think it must have just been the fact that it was going through the trees. But yeah, we got, I think, three males out of that, and two, we'll probably call them uncommons. I think gray and brown hybrid are the most common, like, rare, or just the different uh, feather types. But it's almost 7 o'clock. I actually want to go down to Rathenfelt and hunt this setup, because I, I hunt Ritterstein most, the area that we just were, and Red Fox stopped feeding around seven, and I kind of just want to be in a different area, just in case any walk through and maybe there's something good just waiting out here, so because I usually would be in Ritterstein and any foxes up there is the ones that I usually see, I just want to try something different. So figures, I said something about starting out with an entire flock and then we get just a single goose at the next spot, but at least we can use the 10 gauge once as well. I kind of thought like, if we use the 20 gauge on a full size flock anyway, first and get like those three quick shots off the 10 gauge has a little more range capability so maybe we can kind of get more out of the shotguns than we normally do i just wanted to give that a shot it's good to see an entire flock this time but i actually did just have a male red fox mating call somewhere up in there and i called to him but the odds that he actually gets here in the next couple of seconds and even shows up after we shoot at these geese are just not good a couple of males in here so we'll definitely try to get them and i'll kind of keep trying to watch I just don't think it's very likely where did I don't know where that came from but let's try and do a little better with the shotguns I think if we wait till they're really close we could get to use both it's just a little bit far to be getting the second shotgun out I might actually like that sound for the 10 gauge better that's a male the other two are just females, so we'll just get him down a little quicker. I mean, that worked well. If it was a really big flock, because that was kind of like a medium-sized one, I could see it working even better. So I don't know, that might be the kind of loadout I go for for them, because two 10 gauges, by the time you get the second one out, because it is, like, slower shots, you don't tend to get much from it. But having the 20 gauge first, you can get those three shots off really quickly. I kind of like that. 
but I don't know if anything in here we shot was actually interesting. There was that one level three out this way somewhere, and that might have been the best that we had, and I think it would have been the last thing as well. And even that was just a silver, but worth kind of testing out the loadout. I kind of want to go and see if I can find the tracks from that fox. I just don't find it very likely. We'll run around and even if we don't find it, we'll kind of just fast travel back up the Ritter sign. And if we do and it's good sized, we'll go and track him first. Well, he's definitely not the most interesting fox I've ever seen, but we actually ended up chasing him back around into the field we were hunting in. So that just about figures. But at level three, I'm not really worried about making a perfect shot here. I'd like to try to get maybe brain. It's so tough to do when they're running away like that because they don't have a very long neck like the deer species, so you can just kind of have a larger hitbox. But I don't know that there's anything else we could have done there. So, uh, gotta imagine we got it. And who knows, I mean, that could eventually be the animal that respawns as our diamond red fox. But we did in fact get him in the brain. Like I said, you just have that very tiny window to aim at. So it, it's tough to actually get, but we'll take that. And I think we will head back up to Ritterstein, because I just have better goose luck there in general. But I wanted to be down here just in case there were other foxes in this area that I don't usually see. And I know I haven't seen very many level 3 males, so that's probably one that I haven't seen, just not one that's necessarily super useful for putting in the trophy lodge. Before I spot these, I wonder if it's the two females that we didn't shoot in one of the earlier flocks? That's a male, so I guess not. Actually, even that's a male. So. I don't know why there's just two, but we might as well let them come around and get them with the shotgun. I don't get much use out of the 20 gauge, so I'd like to maybe get them both. That one's just so far behind. Might actually be difficult. We could let this one land, but that's kind of less interesting. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> that's just not going to happen. I think the most likely result would be we could hit it, but then if I took a second shot, we hit it twice, and it might not even die, and then we just lose any potential cold, so... Just getting one with a 20 gauge. I do like it, though. I always enjoy just using the camo guns. I just like the look of them, and I wanted to use it more, just that one I don't think was going to go well. I guess we could have tried it, because he ended up just being a silver, but... 87 meters? That's pretty far for the bird shot to do much damage, so... I think we made the right choice, just didn't really matter in the end. Seems like we made the switch just in time here because I just fast traveled down here to Rathenfelt. Things were kind of slowing down, so I changed the time back to about 6 a.m. I kind of think maybe that one's normal. It could have just been the fact that it was going past the cloud, but it looked like it had a little bit lighter wings. But anyway, they are literally coming through here pretty much right as I got here. So nothing huge as far as I can tell. Just like one level two male might have been the best. That guy right there. But we'll try this again. I want to let them get all the way around if they'll do that. Just to get the most use out of the shotguns. And then it's that lower one I think is the male, so... We'll get him first. Guess that second shot completely missed. Didn't slow us down too much. I think we're still going to end up doing pretty good here. I actually don't think there's any more males, so... We might just... Try to get all of them. Well, if we can hit them. I think that's the last one. Should still be able to get it. Maybe. I don't know if it's farther than I think. There we go. Guess it must have been. And like I said, I don't think there were any super interesting in here, so probably won't include all of the recoveries. I do want to go and check, though. There's that one male and then... Probably these two I'll look at, just to make sure there wasn't a rare. Because that one, even after it went past the, the cloud, it looked like it had lighter colored wings. But nothing else looked off about it, so... I think it might have just been... Like an illusion kind of thing. That is a male red fox, though. And he's not far away. So let's quickly do this. I don't think we'd have gotten any kind of respawn already out of that other one. I mean, I changed the time. I don't know exactly how they work. I know, like, exiting the game and coming back in seems to, like, speed them up, maybe, but it could be that they appear immediately. But you could tell just by where that uh, call came from. He's somewhere right in this area. There's a road here. 
And of course, we're going to have another flock of geese coming in. They seem to do that right as foxes show up. And there's a four. Let's just see if we can manage to get the four and then maybe a three. There's a chance if the fox is far enough away, it actually won't spook from the 22 shots. And either way, we'll run around and look for tracks again. But I don't want to spook him if we don't have to. Because he could still be around. Let's just be happy with that then. And go and see. That's our four. And that is probably our fox. Just kind of out of view. He shouldn't have spooked then. I think we should be able to bring him up over that little hill. That's definitely better than the other, so... Before he takes off, because he's alarmed. We'll drop him there with the 243. And that's got a chance of making gold for a level 6. And the good news is, I mean, no level 9s, at least not so far. But a couple of males for respawns just while we're hunting something else. I don't tend to do well hunting Red Fox. I just, even on Yukon, but Hirschfeld especially, I don't know enough of the zones. And I don't kill very many, so that even was a gold. Definitely can't complain about getting that. And yeah, anywhere that I can get a couple of respawns, I will definitely take them because I just... I never tend to do super well with them. I think this will be that level 3 we shot. Still just a silver. A lot of the 3s have been today, but... I did go through and claim the other couple of females from that last flock. They were all common, so... I guess that one that I thought was different just happened to... Kind of look different from the angle we had or whatever. So we're actually back up in Ritterstein. And... We sat here for probably like 15 minutes. And I was just clicked onto the map screen to fast travel because nothing was happening. And then I could hear these guys coming in. And there is actually one, that guy right there, which would have a chance. So we'll get out the 20 gauge. Luckily we got a little bit of time to reload here. Might not have the 10 gauge loaded then. Didn't hit that guy super well. And I'm going to assume we actually don't have it. Just to potentially save ourselves a little bit of time. And if we can find any males. That's another four. I don't know if there were any others to be honest. I can't remember. I don't think there were. Maybe we'll just get that one for good measure. Would not be a goose hunting video if I didn't just completely forget to reload, but that, I guess, was a three that I didn't even know was there. That must have been the second one we shot. So this will be our level four, which is 7.8, so lower end of what those max submit fours can score. And we even had one other level four here, which is 7.4, so I think that kind of demonstrates that. Close to being the max, uh, max estimate. I mean, we were seconds away from fast traveling, and now we've got a ton of geese coming in. Those two are males. I think maybe they can land and not spook. We'll try to get an eye on what all of this is. There's a bigger and a smaller three. There's another four with a chance. We're getting so close on them. Nothing else super interesting. These guys gotta be sitting here somewhere. I don't see them, but I didn't hear them fly off. Oh. I really thought that was the decoy. I even saw it. That's actually the one that could make gold as a three. But we gotta get that guy. And again, we'll let them kind of come around. I don't know. I never did reload the 10 gauge. I did the 20. Luckily, the 10 gauge is kind of quick. And I'm pretty sure it's this one. That one was so close I couldn't hit it. And I accidentally hit reload, which I guess will work. We'll just go with that. And try to pick the males. Let's hit that again with a 22. I think it would have been good. And then the question is... Sounds like one went that way. Yeah. I had to guess that was going to be the level 3 that landed by us. So I think we got everything that was interesting. Wasn't exactly the best way to go about it, but... Should be good. We'll make sure we get everything loaded this time. So, which one was our level four? Because every time I think I know which one it is, I end up being wrong. That was another 8kg, but lower trophy ring one at 7.9. That's the third one that had the estimate that could make it, but they've all been lower end. This might be the first time I've ever seen a single goose above level three. They're usually twos or threes, but that's a four with like a high estimate and low weight. So even though that one says 7 to 8, 
The best it can be is in the sevens because he only weighed six to seven. But it's definitely not a bad one. I don't know why they bounce like that. Seems really weird, but yeah, 7.3. Not too bad. Apparently it died before our second shot got there. Seemed like we hit it twice. So that is a brown hybrid level three. Of course that is the low score estimate, five to six. For a second there, I thought we might actually have something because I know I've got, it might actually be ones about this size, just kind of sitting in the trophy lodge. And I want to replace them with ones that make gold, but I don't imagine that five to six would make it. I'm actually not even sure that's going to kill it. I think it will, very slowly. I was actually thinking about fast traveling when a second just single goose started flying over. Apparently there's two others figures. They are both six to seven, so a little bit unfortunate. We'll just try to get them. I know we hit him. There we go. But let's see. Technically gold is 6.8 or something like that. So with a five to six estimate and the weight that he had, he could make it. It's just not likely. 6.2, so yeah, I mean, still 0.6 below gold. It may be an upgrade. I don't know. I guess we'll maybe keep it and see. I feel like I have some high five scoring ones. And then we'll go and grab these two, and I think we're going to move off, go back down to Rathenfelt, because it's just been pretty slow up here. The last several geese have all been individual or just like these two together. This guy's got a weight where if it was rounded up, it would be 6.8, so he must be low trophy rating. I was entirely prepared for both of these to make gold after uh, a round hybrid was just over, and that guy actually made it at 6.9, so unfortunately he could not have been the brown hybrid one. But yeah, I've got about 20 minutes left. I think we'll just give Rathenfeld a shot and see what we can get to end here. Ooh, hi. Eight to nine, I like that. That was probably the best move we could have made. Let's take another look. I wanna make sure we're not missing a rare? I don't think so. Gotta stay back down too, because he would have actually seen us. I can't believe we just fast traveled and the first flock has a five. Let's look again with binoculars now that he's closer. Yeah, he's very much a common. I don't think I've ever... There's two things here. For one, I've never uh, spotted a level 5 goose first. They're always further back. But I've been wanting to take a level 5 goose with a shotgun for a long time. I killed one with a 20 gauge the day they came out, but it was with buckshot. At that point, buckshot for some reason was actually ethical. So I've never killed a diamond goose with birdshot. And level 5 is not a guarantee. He could definitely be a troll. But we're going to use the 20 gauge. Let's make sure we're loaded. Zero for 25. And I want to just get a diamond goose with the camo shotgun. I think that'd be really cool. So let's try to get him to come over this way as far as he will. Get in range. There's actually a huge flock coming in behind them, but I'm not so worried about that right now. It's going to drop him. We'll hit that three as well. And it's going to spook all these. So let's see couple of tiny males. There is a four. Not a huge four, though. I guess we'll try to get that. It's that lower one right there. Gonna be tough. That angle is not very forgiving. I already lost where it was. Yeah, I don't like my odds of hitting that, especially when I only had, like, three shots loaded. I mean, we could try. I just don't know the range or anything. And quite honestly, I'm more interested in picking up the level 5, so we're just going to forget about that. And this should be our guy. So hopefully he cooperates. Ooh. That's so cool. That's not max score. Max score is 9.2. But I've always wanted to get a diamond goose that made like that 9, because I feel like that's sort of like getting into really kind of huge territory for a diamond goose. So, kind of just couple of a uh, couple of things at once there first diamond goose with bird shot anyway because every time I end up like spooking him or something and I see the level 5 flying away and I end up shooting him with the 22 but this time we finally got it and we got a good one with nine trophy rating I'm really really happy with that I didn't really expect to get that today but that's definitely something to uh, find a place for in the trophy lodge and then just a little silver level 3 so I don't know if we should just end with that. 
I guess we'll sit and see if we can get one more flock now just to uh, maybe see what else is in here because the luck's been decent today. I mean, we've seen a couple of brown hybrids, the gray, a lot of good sized fours, and then finally a five there, which I sort of wondered. Like to see that many, probably like six, seven level fours, I figured eventually one had to just spawn a little bit bigger. I guess a road deer with a decent chance at making gold would be better than no geese because, of course, I wanted to get just like one more flock and all of them completely disappear, so we'll just take that guy. Heck of a way to go down, but I know the diamond requirement for road deer change. I don't know if the gold did, but at 67 to 79, I would think he's actually got a really good shot at making it. And then we're going to head back to the trophy lodge and find a place for our goose, so Let's just see what we got out of that guy. He is a gold, and the requirement is 64. I think it used to be like 66 or 67, so it didn't change much, but that is a gold. And maybe now that the requirement for them's changed and they are making diamond again, that could actually be something good to have respawns kind of in the goose hunting areas as well. So first off, this guy was 9.07 in the trophy manager, so almost 9.1 even. And I just think that's going to be a good spot for him. It's kind of like right inside the door there. And I just like it because, as I mentioned, I really wanted to get one like 9 or above eventually. It was kind of just like a long-term goal that I wasn't really specifically working towards. And just out here trying to get a Melanistic today, we actually got it. And I definitely like that better. I had like a 5.5 .5 gray female in that spot. I think a huge diamond in that spot is definitely better, but yeah slowly but surely kind of accomplishing everything I want to do as far as geese. Still want to get that melanistic, but nice to get a diamond as we're doing it. But anyway, I think that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.